are back for season two of Football Friday. With the DuPage Valley Conference down to just five District 203 and 204 teams, let's start our weekly wrap up with the defending conference champs, Naperville Central. The Red Hawks and QB Peyton Thorne welcome a very tough Hinsdale Central squad to start the season. The Red Devils got on the board first, but the Naperville Central offense caught fire, scoring 28 straight points, including this TD pass from Thorne to wide receiver Jared Sushevitz. But Hinsdale Central would not go quietly. Running back Luke Skokna scores his third touchdown of the game late in the third quarter to cut the lead to 28-21. After both teams traded touchdowns and Naperville Central up 34-28, Hinsdale Central blocks this Red Hawks punt and Andrew Novotny scoops up the loose ball and runs it in for a touchdown. The extra point puts the Devils up by one. Under two minutes to play, the Red Hawks get tricky. Thorne throws it back to sophomore QB slash wide receiver Sam Jackson, who then tosses it to a wide open Cade McDonald who scampers into Red Devil territory. McDonald ends his night with nine catches for 194 yards and two touchdowns. Second and 10 from the 11 yard line, Central in field goal range, but Thorne's handoff to Danny Hughes is botched and Hinsdale Central falls on it. Red Hawks lose a heartbreaker 35-34. On to Matia Valley, who hits the road to take on former DVC rival Wheaton Warrenville South, who now resides in the newly formed Duquesne Conference. I can guarantee you this, you will never see this many field goals again in a Football Friday recap. But Wheaton South kicker Jake Olsen deserves special recognition after shattering the IHSA record by making eight field goals in a single game. The previous record? Five! The good news for Matia Valley, the Mustangs allowed no touchdowns all game long. The bad news was the final score. Wheaton Warrenville South wins 26-0 thanks to eight field goals and a safety. Another Valley school on the road as Wabonzi Valley travels to Oak Park River Forest to meet the Huskies. Warriors hope to bounce back after missing the playoffs for the first time since 2006. This will help as Dub V with some misdirection, fooling the camera and the defense. Bryce Logan breaks free for the long touchdown and a 7-0 lead. Wabonzi trailing 14-7 in the second quarter, but new starting quarterback Jack Throw changes that in a hurry with a 42-yard TD pass to Julian Kane to tie the game at 14. 17 all in the fourth quarter, Drow clearly not feeling the nerves of his first varsity game. Another TD pass to a wide open Julian Kane. This one proves to be the game winner as the Warriors defense holds OPRF from that point on. Wabonzi Valley starts the year on the right foot with a 24-17 win. Naperville North welcoming the Wolverines of Simeon into the dog pound. Both teams coming off six and three seasons. Opening half, a big one for Simeon as quarterback Brown Alante finds 6'4 receiver Rashawn Palmer three times, including this over-the-shoulder one-handed grab. Alante with four touchdown passes in the first half, building a 30-0 lead. After forcing a fumble, North marches down the field and visits the painted promised land for a second time. Quarterback Cliff Vickers finds Matthew Heinz for the TD. The Huskies score once again on a 61-yard bomb from Vickers to Bo Richter, but the score comes with too little time left on the clock. Simeon escapes with a 30-20 win. Nequa Valley debuting a new quarterback, junior Mark Granowski, the captain of the offense's ship, and Glenbar North is sailing into the Wildcats' waters. First quarter is the Will Chevalier Show. The senior running back nets not one, but two touchdowns, plus this ridiculous catch and run. Wildcats up 13-0, exiting the first. Defense stepping up in the second quarter, Jacob Bowmans takes advantage of a tipped ball and scurries back to the house, a pick six, 20-0 lead at the half. Looking to seal the deal late, Nikwa hands off to Armani Marino, who scampers into the end zone, completing the all-around effort in week one. Nikwa topping Lembar North 27-6. Let's turn to the very early DVC standings as Wabonzi Valley and Nequa Valley are the only Week 1 victors. Central, North, and Matia look to turn things around in Week 2. The schedule is once again all non-conference in the second week of the season. Naperville Central, another brutal matchup as they travel to top 5 ranked Lincoln Way East. Naperville North travels to defending 7A state champion Batavia. Nequa hosts Stevenson. Matia has its home opener against Lake Park. And Wabonzi Valley looks to move to 2-0 at home against Libertyville. 
You may have noticed that Bennett Academy was absent from our recap, but have no fear, the Red Wings play later today at Northern Illinois University against St. Lawrence. You can find the full highlights of that game and all the Week 1 matchups on NCTV17.com. Bennett will return for the Week 2 recap next week against Moline. Thank you for joining us once again for another action-packed high school football season. For Football Friday, I'm Justin Cornwell.